Hey family, how are you? Welcome to the Jazzy Air family. I hope you are here to subscribe in your what y'all was saying too do you know the song seriously it's just jazzy jazzy it's jazzy family you really know the song well leave it in the comment section down below if you know the song it's jazzy it's just jazzy it's just jazzy family i love that song oh uh, well i wrote it i sang it but yeah I just wanted to stop in really quickly to say hello. If you notice in a lot of my vlogs, you'll see me wearing the same sweater. It's because I choose comfort over cute. I love big, comfortable clothes. And I got like two of these big, comfortable sweaters. And they being broke. I can't find my other one. Somebody probably stole it. Um, uh, If you have a clothing line, if you're trying to get your clothing line up there, I got to get this P.O. box together. Send me all your big, cute, comfortable clothes because I support, honey. You ain't even got to pay me. Just so long as it's big and comfortable, I'm going to wear it. But anyway, about me being a bum. Um, I just really wanted to stop in and say, hello. How are you? How's your day going, friend? How you feeling? You feeling good? I'm honestly, I was sitting here cracking up, y'all. Cracking. Dying. Let me tell y'all. I am one person, I read all my comments. Even if you may think I just heart it, I read it. I'm going to acknowledge it. You can DM me. I answer all DMs. Like, I'm very proactive. I'm not that influencer. Like, I always tell y'all, I can't even watch or associate myself with people like that. They're really big YouTubers who I used to watch. And they're, like, be on live. And I see them looking right at my comment and they won't say nothing. I'll be like, you won't catch me here again. Like, I just feel like if I'm supporting you at least you can do is acknowledge me but maybe that's just me but i acknowledge everything and everybody and i was over here kikiing because i genuinely think that some of y'all just don't know what to say to me and i get it and it's fine but let me tell you i am the nicest person you will ever meet one thing i respect is realness if maybe you truly honestly just don't like me or maybe you just bored but what happens is i'm reading in the comments under my last video right and I said, nah, some people just got to be bored. You got to be bored. Because when you say things like, oh, you're a horrible mother. You treat your kids like shit. You got the worst kid. You're a liar. Now you just lying. You bored and you lying. You say stuff like, Jasmine, shut up. You ugly. You're lying. You're being a liar. So now you're funny to me because I look at you like you're a liar. And you're bored. When you say shit like, oh, you're fat. All right, you got me. Like, okay, now I get where you're coming from. I was just giving y'all, let y'all know what I was kikiing about. Because I said, yo, some people just genuinely be bored. And you ever met somebody so dope? Let me tell you something. I don't wear the nicest clothes. I don't got the most money. I damn sure don't parent the best way, bitch. I be having things all fucked up, but I do it my way and what works for me. I don't got the nicest place. Got nothing for you to be jealous of me. But my spirit, my energy will definitely intimidate you. Don't like me for that. Now, if you want to say anything in this world, say, you know what? I don't like Jasmine because it's something different about her energy. It's untouchable, baby. You can't break it. This energy... You got to remember, I'm a mother. I got four kids. I got to get her my energy. I'm a girlfriend to a badass man. I got to give her my energy. I'm a friend. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I owe all these people my energy. So you think I'm going to let you break it? You can't touch my energy. It's too dope. 
And you know what's crazy? Energy is contagious. So instead of you being mad at it, be around it. I surround myself with people who high energy. I surround myself with people who the world could be on their shoulders. You would never know because they carry it effortlessly. I, the person I'm in a relationship with is the most strongest human being. Sis like me, we always smiling. We could have had four people shot, seven people dead, every bone in our body aching. We just lost 13 people and we smiling because God is good. And we here, we living, we breathing, we alive, and we getting another day to get it right. It's just like, you're mad because of that? Say that then. Surround yourself with better people. You'll have this energy too. Anyway, back to the basics. We're about to get back to this mommy life, do what I do best, be a mom. Bitch, I need a break, to be honest. Um, Mother Gooses, step away. This is for the real mommies, the ones that need a drink. The ones that need a smoke. I don't even smoke and I don't even condone it. But if you want to smoke something and get high, get high. If you ain't hurting nobody, don't smoke no crack. If you want to get high, get high. If you want to sip something, sip it. If you need to get away from them fucking kids, get away from them fucking kids, bitch. You need it. If you're not saying how everybody else going to be okay, you deserve it. Honestly, I'm about to call my mama over here so I can go get a break. I need, I'm a mother 24 hours, seven days a week. I need a break. I need to go somewhere. I want to go to a hotel with my girlfriend so I can scream. I'm tired of muffling my screams, bitch. I got the TV on blast. Got to wait till everybody sleep. Got to moan quiet. I, I'm tired. I want to be free. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers can walk around here screaming, yelling, stopping, breaking shit. Let me go be free. You living your best life. Sometimes you got to say, fuck these kids. Friend, I'm going to talk to you later. So She's being there. that today getting out of the house was a necessity. Look at this. No. I came to visit Miss yes. Kesha. Not Miss Kesha. Hey, Kesha. Yo. That's Kaija. Not Kaija. Kaija. They call you everything. Keisha, Kesha, Kaija. Oh, look at the baby. Who's this? How excited am I that they're home from North Carolina? I didn't even get any welcome home footage because I was so hyped when they walked through the door. But baby is back and she better. I don't really like her, to be honest. But oh, oh, yeah, we had that here and there. We don't like each other today. But one thing about us, we cannot like each other and still want to be around right. each other. So I just genuinely don't understand it. Right. And did you notice I didn't text you all day today and you didn't text me? Oh, I noticed. I didn't text you on purpose because you I know. didn't text me. I know. I, I said, said well, oh, she's going to be like, oh, I'm not texting her because right. she ain't texting me. You didn't call me when I love you. That's all right. All right. And I didn't care. Me either. But you was hyped when I said I was coming over. So? Oh. Anyway, this reality of a relationship. I know a lot of people like to be like, you know, it's all dandelions and flowers and we hold hands. No, there's some days where we don't like each other. Genuinely don't agree with each other. <laughs> But I still kind of love her a little bit. Not kinda. So I'm here. I still kind of wanted to be around her, even though I ain't like her. But I'm here. And I tried to give you a kiss this morning. You was like, You gave me. Did you fall off? The chin kissed me back. Yes, I did. Yeah. You know, I have. You went to free for kiss, and I was playing. I gave you a hug, and then I turned around and gave you a kiss. Want money back, Joe? No, not though. Honestly. I'm trying to get to guys. If y'all know anybody who need hair cutting me out, I know y'all been hitting me up. Let me talk about that on my channel because now I'm OT. But people hit me up, um, asking to cut their hair. But let me tell you, uh, I really am uncomfortable with some people that comes from Jasmine channel because it may not seem genuine, okay? Huh? It may not seem genuine. I don't know if y'all coming to get your hair cut or if y'all really coming to low key try to meet her, and then I don't want to. Try to come and she's not handing <laughs> yeah, okay, like, so we're gonna yeah, do we're like, gonna be giving out just jazzy specials, right? With because Kaisha. So if, if you come be, right. and you get a haircut, you get to meet me, and that's just how it goes, okay? So go head on to this page right here, and you're gonna go DM her, book your haircut. She's in Brooklyn, Williamsburg, book her, and then you just you just may get to meet me. Right. I'm excited to meet you, friend. So go ahead, book it. I'm going to be here. Don't worry. You're going to see me. You're going to chat and bring liquor. Because you know I like to drink. You know what? Also, leave the drama at home. The, the other thing that I was going to say is because 
you know, some people, they, one minute they like you, the next minute they hate you for weird right. reasons, and they're going to block you. And, do, and I don't want nobody to know where I cut at in my personal space when they decide that. Oh, no, we to, definitely going to yeah. do our research on you first. Because even her, when she get clients, she go to their Facebook page, yeah. she hit up their mother first. But, you know, people don't have no reason not to them because I, it's not like they interact. Like, the random people that hit me up, you know what I'm saying? But right. people randomly just wake up in the morning and just go to your page and not like you and want right. to say some weird shit. So. And I was just talking about that in the beginning of the blog, too. Right, so it's like, nah, it's all love over here. Know, but hit me up, hit her up first, and then she'll let me know who, J- who she. But time, not your receptionist. Nah, nah, like I said, y'all can go to her page know, and you, book her. Have you been interacting with them? If oh, like you want people? You, know, like, you yeah. can ask me, and I'll let you know if they good. Oh yeah, so hit me up, and then I'll, I'll ask her. Yeah, because she thought I was her receptionist. She really thought I was, I be meeting people. I just randomly met that girl. They was cursing me out. I get, I did a giveaway on my channel and I gave it, well, Kaisha gave away a very expensive stroller and I met the person and gave it to them. And they was just like, oh my God, you can't go meet the people. Influencers don't do that. First of all, I'm from Brooklyn, run up, get done up. I'm and see now. People. I see now. I gotta tell you something. And then, the, <laughs> and then I met them. And I met them in a very public area. Like, I'm not crazy. This is how you know when you come to Dunkin' Donut. Dunkin' Dunkin' Donut. Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> Dunkin Donuts in the hood. You really ugly as shit, bro. Um, they got gates on the drive through window. <laughs> Look at this nasty bitch digging up her nose. And I'm putting you up there like that. So don't say nothing when you see this vlog. Okay. Um... No. This is crazy that they got gates on it. Somebody must have dragged his ass through this gate because <laughs> his attitude is gross. Babe, honestly, my allergies is real because he got that little tiny ponytail. Oh, he don't hear you talking shit because he definitely gonna spit in that refresher. If I ask to pay a different well, amount, tell him to spray the spit in the strawberry one, bitch. Because I don't see a amount. Radio this because they said if they ask about a different amount. You what know they said? If if asked to pay a different amount, please contact the manager. This? Oh, they pro- that's ghetto. They probably been stealing. Yep, look. So let's contact the manager because there's no amount. So we're not supposed to be no amount. Then shut up. It was an amount on the screen back there. You no, just but it drove has to be an amount right here. No, like if the, the, the screen say $15 and you get to the window and they say eighteen seventy five. dollars the screen please, says zero. This bitch is tired because she's slow. I'm going to Vani house real quick. Go I'm going to spend the night because I can't sleep. Energy. I mean, I can't um stay up any longer. Go ahead. I'm going home in the Uber. I know how to call my Uber on late nights, bitch. Yo, stop playing I'm just with saying. me. You always got to say some dumb shit. Da-da. I'm just saying. I'm... And when I wipe that fucking just saying eyebrow, I hope you can be tight. I would look that shit right up your forehead. I'd just be like, listen, I hope Shut you up. got slam lock because I'm out. I don't give a fuck how tired I am. I am leaving. I don't spend the night. And you are home. Mm. So they say, but well, I don't believe it. You need to stop, bro. Uh, Honestly, it's not cute. What are you talking about? Cause I said I hope they got slam lock. Uh, no, who got slam lock? Who? Where am I at? Stop! Stop! Babe, you I'm almost broke me. Ain't no, you almost. Bitch, I'm not almost. Not I want to. Babe. This is domestic violence. You think because you a girl and I'm a girl, this ain't still domestic violence? No, it's not. It the fuck is. You're if I call 911 right now, your masculine ass is going to jail. No, you're going to just stop playing. Okay. I'm going to fucking rip that lace front. Honestly, mm-hmm. you put on these wigs and you start talking stupid. <laughs> what the wigs? No, it got a lot. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, me and Kaisha is clowns. Don't take nothing we say to heart. That's our love language. We genuinely just silly people. We don't be really arguing and we just silly we just have a different love language than from what yours may be but it's all out of fun and games anyway i am cooking some dinner i'm just cooking some fried chicken and what i'm cooking fried chicken plantains rice and i think corn depends on how tired i am at the end uh as you guys know i pulled carter out of school and i feel like a horrible mom because he's just home doing nothing so i got him like this little few things off Amazon and I'm going to put it together the best I can to try to make it look like a little playhouse that I'm going to call it. I don't know. I just spent a little bit of money to put something together because I just feel bad. So I'm just trying to make things as creative as possible for him around the house. So y'all going to watch me put that together really quickly. Let go. <laughs> FMAK is the squad. 
got our mommy going hard. We love our father, we love God. Can't believe we made it this far. We, we, we on YouTube going hard. Can't nobody judge us for God. Can't nobody judge us for God. Can't nobody judge us for God. Never make it this far. Got our mommy going hard. Love our father, we love God. Can't believe we made it this far. Can't believe we made it this far. Can't believe we made it this far. When you come inside, there's a chair. Learning blocks here. They have their play food over here. They have some random toys there. I want to buy them some blocks as well. And when it's dark, when they get inside, they have their flashlight and they can turn their flashlight on. It's like we can see different things on there. You can see that. Like, if you can tell, the thing changes. This is so cute. I want to be a kid again. This is dope. And this is their little pad. It's their little crib. Carter! Ooh! You can cook. Hey! Do you like it? What's that? What's that? Hi, can you sit in your chair over there? Doodle. look in the box. Can you sit in your little chair? Sit right there in your chair. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Look, sit in your you chair. I like it. Oh, oh you got to give him his flashlight. Look, sit in your chair so I can give you your flashlight. Sit in your chair. No, sit right there in your chair. Want me to show you how it works? Yeah. Turn it on. Look, this is how you turn it on. Oh, wow, you know. Look at the top. Look at the top. Wow. I can see it. Look at me, Cuddle. <gasps> okay, you can close you your door. And you can say hi, Kayla. Hi. Hi, Carter. Hey, Carter, can you cook for me? Hey, Carter, I want strawberry ice cream. Do you have some, <laughs> some sandwiches? Yeah, I got a burger actually. Oh, you gotta ask her what I she want on her sandwiches. burger. What well, would you There's want? A sandwich right there. Well, oh, do you want a sandwich or do you want a burger? Um, uh, can I get both? Yeah. yeah Wait, I what do you want on it? Do you want tomatoes, lettuce? I would like some ketchup, please. Okay. Yes, he does. He's um, really good. Oh. Do you want um uh any fruits? Yes, I would love some fruit. I would like some some strawberry. Oh, strawberries? Wait, we have like a little little menu. So basically, you get two unhealthy things and two healthy things. I would love that. Okay, so what do you want? We got um, kiwi. We have oranges. I would like a sh a strawberry and. A an orange, and I would the unhealthy thing. I would like a cake uh, and a donut. Okay. So you, <laughs> you see, Carter? He said, "Look at my Peppa Pig on oh, her. I miss you." And give him a kiss. <laughs> but this is what are these? These are. Crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. Yeah, how many crocodiles are these? 
Wow, three crocodiles. I said, hey, you guys. Wait, we're playing. Guys, guys. She's the mom. Guys, uh, I'm, the, I'm the daughter, and we're rich. Yeah, oh, yeah, rich. Yeah, yeah. I gave her, I gave her Dad, my credit card Dad, so she can go buy herself a new iPhone. Oh. Hey, guys, I just found out the iPhone 12 Pro. And, uh, and I love you. Hashtag love the rich style. Hashtag rich vibes. Post. Here you go, Mom. Got the new iPhone 11. Did you get yourself the food that you wanted? We're sick together, but love forever. There's no one better. My love is your forever, babe. We're sick together, loving you forever. There's no one better. My heart is just forever, babe. And I'm so happy that I have you in my life. Be right here by your side to make sure you're alright. Change your ways. My love for you.